I'm in the old city of Sarajevo, finally here. Um, just had a bit of a nap in the room, unpacked, relaxed a little. Now I'm out on the streets to have a look. This is the old city, uh, quite incredible, quite busy. So many tourists, unbelievable really. Definitely all of Europe's here in the Balkans. So let's have a look, let's have a walk around and have a look. Hey, what's up everyone? I'm here in Istanbul airport. Um, very early morning this morning, up at 1.20 a.m. Here at 2.30 a.m. to get my hopefully last PCR test. And now I'm heading to my gate. Uh, quite exhausted. Um, it's been a long evening and uh, it looks like airports are back to full capacity. Certainly here in Istanbul, it's pumping. So um, let's head to the gate. So I guess I should tell you where I'm headed today. I'm off to Sarajevo, to Bosnia. Uh, gonna do some overlanding through the Balkans. So it looks like we've got a 10 minute delay on the flight at this stage. Hopefully it's not going to be any longer than 10 minutes. If you're wondering where Steph is, I've left her at home for a few days. She's going to do some work, catch up with orientations for upcoming new jobs. Um, I'm heading over to Sarajevo early so as I can get started on some travel writing, some photography and a new vlog. So. Let's go down to our gate now. Nice morning here in Istanbul. Finally, arriving six hours before a flight is quite enough. I'll be glad to be done with PCR tests. Finally on board. I will be glad to be done with PCR tests. Thankfully, I'm fully vaccinated. Just got away um, 14 days, so I'm 13 days now. So hopefully, this will be my last PCR. But um, I've got a feeling I've got one more to enter Montenegro yet. So that's unfortunate. It's nearly two hours to Sarajevo, so um, I've never been there before. So I'll probably hit the ground running. I'll definitely be, be needing uh, some breakfast and a coffee. Uh, it's been a long morning. The airport was so busy, I couldn't even find a table to sit anywhere. So I haven't had anything except a little chai. So I'm really hanging out for a nice coffee. Supposedly Bosnia has good coffee, we'll see. Um, silly me, I keep booking these early morning flights. Maybe I've learnt my lesson at last because the last few flights we've had have all been early morning as well. So, and the one coming back is even worse. But after this, I'm 
I'm not gonna book any more early morning That's flights. Good. I promise. Well, that wasn't too bad. We delayed, we were delayed taking off by about half an hour, but made up most of it en route. Um, welcome to Bosnia. Here I am, uh, waiting to get my bag, and then I'll hunt down an ATM to get some cash, get a taxi, and get into town. Incredibly hot today, like easily 35 degrees, there's barely a mask in sight, uh, a lot of tourists here, I've probably got one more PCR test to do so I've got to be careful even though I'm fully vaccinated. Souvenir stands everywhere. I had no idea it was so touristed, Sarajevo, and supposedly Mostar's even more so. A lot of tin. I think there's tin smiths back here. You can hear someone working. Hello. Hello. You're making coffee pot? Yes. What's the name for it in Jezva? Jezva. Okay. Jezva. How long have you been doing it for, sir? For this one. No, all your life. Um, no, in my 58 years. 58 years. Yes. Did yes. you learn from your father? Yes. When I have 10 years, this time I come in this shop and uh, learn for my father and my old brother. And, and your father's father also? Yes. Uh, 490 years this shop. Oh wow, 400 odd first, years. First men come here, Turk by here, before 490 years, 1536. Uh, the shop Ottomans? Opened, yes, Ottoman. Empire. Fantastic, what great history. And a very important uh, family, Brekanch. I am Brekanch. Brekanch family. Brekanch. Yes, and uh, so everyone in your family works in the business. Yes, and uh, what is five persons? What no good is five persons. Uh, I show customers because this shop is UNESCO shop, and I'm UNESCO artist. What, what year did UNESCO give you your uh, certification? I show you. I show you. Okay. I'm doctor academic professor for old Ottoman style. So he makes them from the Ottoman style. Uh, yes, I'm best. Famous for that. This is UNESCO book. Right. And I am UNESCO artist. And you are mentioned in the book. Oh I'm wow. This. Yes. Hot young I am Misad Berkanch. Misad. And this is Ottoman Berkanch. style. Fantastic. And this is everything Ottoman style. Ottoman style. What work my family before 200, 250 years. I gather the pieces are quite expensive then. <laughs> Sometimes no. When, uh, when Mr. Clinton come here, I give without money <laughs> because he too much help for my country. Mr. Birkant met Bill Clinton. Yes, and uh, this is my UNESCO business cards. Fantastic. He is my granddaughter. She finished artistic school this style. My grandson. 
and the, everything young from here. So passing on the tradition. Yes. That's fantastic and because these days that doesn't happen very often. Yeah, and my signature is very important it's for you. Oh, thank you, sir. Wow, that's nice of you. I love your shop. Thank you. Late afternoon light, so much nicer, long shadows, warm light, beautiful. And so I'm winding down, first day in Sarajevo, it's been a long day. So before I go back to the room, let's go across here to the river and have a little look. Beautiful afternoon scenes across the river here. Such a pretty city. And that's the Latin Bridge. Archduke Franz Ferdinand and his wife were killed, which was the catalyst for the First World War. You hear about it, you read about it in history class and never really seems real or it doesn't seem close enough to you. Well, now I get to see it. Incredible. A bridge was first erected here in early, the early 1500s. It was a wooden bridge and there were leather works around the area. I guess, you know, tanneries use a lot of water and they need to dump their used water somewhere. So it's quite often to have it beside a river. Over the centuries, um, the bridge has been named the Ottoman Bridge the Princeps Bridge and today is called the Latin Bridge all right then guys I think that's enough of me for today I'm gonna make my way back to my little pension by crossing this bridge today before I finish up let me show you where I'm staying just down a little off the main square Prengiste Zan Prengiste Zan something like that it's kind of a little pension so it's kind of a room in a woman's house. 50 New Zealand a night, so not particularly cheap. And here we have it. I've got two single beds. We've got a small seating area. That's a good little room. It'll do. Clean, tidy. That's the main thing. And cheap, cheap for these parts, right in the middle of the old city. So you can't um, argue with that. Okay. All right, guys, that's it. I'm absolutely shattered. See you tomorrow.